Hi, I'm Laura King, and I am the network chair for the Jewish Federations of North America. And I'm here today with Dr. Robert Adler. Uh, we're going to speak today about his experiences of his father who escaped from Vienna, uh, was helped by the Pope Pius VII, and uh, arrived the in the, the 12th, excuse me. Uh, and arrived in the Dominican Republic, eventually uh, saving his life. And Dr. Adler, can you state your name and introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Dr. Robert Leon Adler. Uh, I'm a professor of foreign languages here at the University of North Alabama. I grew up in, in New York City, um, where I went to elementary, high school, and college, and I did my graduate work at Washington University in St. Louis before coming here to uh, Alabama. And today you serve on the Holocaust Commission here in Alabama. Yes, I'm on the Alabama Holocaust Commission, uh, also in the Education Committee. I was uh, appointed by Governor Riley uh, a few years ago. Very mm -hmm. nice. Um, if you wouldn't mind, if you, if you would just uh, begin your story about your father uh, returned to Vienna and uh, his eventual journey that began in uh, 1940. Mm -hmm. to reach the Dominican Republic? Uh, <clears throat> it's, it's a very interesting story that he began to tell me in little pieces when I was a child and <clears throat> some I, I remembered, some I didn't remember and then he would remind me but generally not talk very much about it. But it started to a large degree uh, when, when he was pretty young. Um, my father was the, the middle child of three. He had a younger sister and an older sister uh, living in, in Vienna, right downtown. And he was one of the, one of the bully boys in, <laughs> in the street. Uh, also a mountain climber. He, he, did, he did a lot of things. Uh, his, his father, his, his biological father passed away when he was very young. I really don't know when or under what circumstances. But his mother remarried, so he was living with uh, his mother and his um, um, stepfather. And when he was a teenager, uh, for various reasons, my, my dad wanted to be a, um, a dentist. His father wanted him to work in the, in the grocery store. They didn't see eye to eye. So my, my father ran away from home and joined the French Foreign Legion for six years, <laughs> where he fought in, uh, in North Africa. And he was, he was a guard on Devil's Island and things like, things like this. So after six years, he, he had disappeared from Vienna. <clears throat> All of a sudden, there was a knock on his mother's door. She opens the door, and there he was after six years. She hadn't seen him. Um, and he, he moved back to Vienna. Uh, he started a business. Uh, he got married and s started a, uh, a life there. And then came the Anschluss in, I believe it was March of, uh, of 1938. Mm -hmm. And things started to happen for the, um, for the Jews in Germany and, and in Austria. Uh, his stepfather said, don't worry, they're not going to bother us because I fought for uh, Austria in World War I. Well, he was wrong. <laughs> because things did happen. They were, they were deporting Jews from all over the, um, um, <clears throat> the country. And so my father, uh, having, having been a, uh, a mountain climber uh, and knowing the passes into Switzerland, was helping people uh, escape into, into neutral Switzerland. When he was caught by the Nazis out in the, um, out in the countryside, he was taken to a, um, a feeder camp and he was being transported uh, from a feeder camp to another camp when he escaped from the train, from one of those transport trains, uh, with a German priest. Uh, since he was with a German priest, they decided to seek asylum in Italy in the, um, in the Vatican. Mm -hmm. And he was able to get in there. Uh, the, he spent as far as, as far as I know, between five weeks and t or two months or six weeks in, um, in the Vatican, he met Pope Pius. He told, me, he told me this several times, that he met Pope Pius XII. And for, it was there that he was able to find out that um, Rafael Leonidas Trujillo, mm -hmm. the uh, head of state of the D Dominican Republic, uh, had declared in 1938 that he wanted European refugees to come to the Dominican Republic. There was a uh, community in 
the central north of the country of, uh, of Sosua, that was primarily uh, European Jews, but they had been there for, for quite a long time and it, it was dispersing, mm -hmm. so he wanted to re refortify the, um, the Jewish community in the, in the Dominican Republic, and so he wanted up to 100,000 European refugees. It turns mm -hmm. out he only got about 800. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my, my dad was one of them. He was a very lucky one. Very fortunate.